banana bread. And I know it's been a long time since um, we have been filming, but here we are back with another cooking video. So let's get on with the ingredients. butter or oil but we are going to be using oil and then we'll need four eggs one cup of sugar um one tablespoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt and one ta teaspoon of baking powder and we'll need some um vanilla, vanilla sugar and some crushed um walnuts we need some walnuts here, almost one cup. Yeah. And we have one, two cups of flour. All purpose flour. Yeah, all purpose flour. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, and you'll need the mixer. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna mix it. Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go start. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, but first we're gonna be putting the one cup of sugar inside our mixer. And then the eggs. Yes, the four eggs. Put it inside. Yeah. Then you turn the mixer. Then we turn it on to mix it. So one. One. Guys, to have a parents with you, and then I'm pretty sure we're supposed to let it mix for a while, uh -huh. and then after we should be adding these ingredients right. the salt, bacon soda, and bacon soda. Right. See when it's done mixing. Okay, now I'm gonna add the vanilla sugar inside it, and we're gonna pour all of this. Yeah, and next I Baking powder. Baking powder, baking soda. Okay, the baking powder is first. Uh -huh. And then the baking soda. And then I, I believe the salt. Yes. Put it inside. And then we should start mixing. Then the walnuts and then the flour. Bye. Okay, first we turn off the machine, which is already off, and then we add the walnuts. Do we add it little by little? Yeah, I can add it all the same too. Okay. Add it all in. And then we're going to be adding the flour little by little. You should turn the mixer first. Yes. Uh, how much? One. Okay, so that's a big one. Mm -hmm. You can. And keep on going. You can uh, do two speed. Okay, two speed. Yeah. So, by the way, guys, this is the first time Sophia she made it. By myself. By herself, yeah. So she's struggling a little bit, but she's doing great so far. The only time I need help is with the oven. Yes, I will help. Here, help. Yeah. So she's gonna continue add the flowers until she finish all two cups, and I'm gonna get with you guys. Yeah. And guys, how was your summer? Yeah. Like it's almost back to school week. But yeah, what have we been doing in the summertime? Okay guys, we used only half a cup. Okay, one, one and a half cup of flour. So yeah, 
Hey guys, depends what kind of flour you depend have. what kind of flour you have. So, for two cups, that's how many left. So. But the but it already smells very good. Yeah, that's so good. And we have this. Yeah. So our cake is almost is is ready. So. And then we're gonna put it inside the mold. Yes, when we get back with you guys. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, okay. guys, we preheated the oven. For 350 that's right and then we got our pan and um, we put oil under it and spread it around and then we put our cake batter inside yeah it's ready to go to the oven yes but mommy says gonna do it not you no. yeah okay yeah. see you guys later and we'll show you when we're putting it inside the oven hopefully. okay so guys look at how our cake turned out we added some designs like a blueberry, strawberries, and mint for taste. Oops. That was, that's but fun. now we are going to be trying it. So there's a slice right there. Got it? Kind of. Ooh, looks so good. Ooh, the blueberry smashed. Yes. I'm going to add a blueberry with it. Look at it inside. And now I'm going to go taste it. Yes. Can I taste it? Yes. Here's a spoon. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. Yeah, I think it's walnuts in it. Yes, because it has the walnuts, as you can see, guys. It is a good recipe. You should try making this. But now we have to end the video. Yeah. So make sure to smash that like button. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.